Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa salatu wa salam Ala ashraf al-anbiya'i wal mursaleen Amma ba'du Then we are here with the 24th question In this 24th day of Ramadan in year 1445 It was asked to and answered by our Shaykh Abu Ammar Muhammad ibn Abdullah ba Musa Hafiz ta'ala ala Yemen and the question is, permissible to make itikaf in other than the three masajid? And basically, how do we understand the hadith? La itikafa illa fi al masajid al There is no itikaf except in the three masajid. The Shaykh, he says, the answer is, and from Allah, we seek help to what is correct. There is an issue with some. Regarding the hadith of Hudayfa radiallahu anhu, that the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he said, "La itikafa illa fi al masajid al There is no itikaf except in the three masajid, and it is Sahih, narrated by Sa'id ibn Mansur at Tahawi and Al Bayhaqi. The majority of scholars say. Regarding the hadith, la itikaf illa fi hadhi masajid al There is no itikaf in these three masajid. They say that there is no complete itikaf except in the three masajid. However, it is correct to make itikaf in the remaining or the rest of the masajid, basically of the world, due to Allah's statement. وَلَا تُبَشِرُوهُنَّ وَأَنْتُمْ أَقِفُونَ فِي الْمَسَاجِدِ And do not uh, approach your families basically while you are making the tikaf in the masajid. So the alif and the lam here in the word al-masajid, the alif and the lam which makes the word definite, right? Then this shows us all inclusiveness and generality. So Sheikh Uthaymeen Rahimullah, he says, it's permissible to make it to calf in other than the three masajid. And those three masjids are, those three masajid are, Masjid in Nabi, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in Medina, and Masjid Al-Aqsa in Al-Quds, or Jerusalem. And the evidence for that is, this is Sheikh Uthaymeen speaking, the evidence for that is the, the generality of the most highest Statement, and do not approach your families or wives while you are making it to Kaab Masajid. So this ayat is speaking to all of the Muslims. And the Aleph and the Lamb here shows us all inclusiveness. And if we were to say that the meaning is the only the three Masajid, you cannot make it to Kaab in other than those three Masajid, then the Majority of Muslims would not be being spoken to in this ayat. They would not be being addressed in this ayat because the majority of Muslims are outside of Mecca, Medina, and Al Quds. So, therefore, we say itikaf is permitted. And if the hadith is authentic, that itikaf ilafi masajid al there is no itikaf except in the three masajid then the meaning is there is no complete and preferable itikaf or most preferred or most blessed, most virtuous itikaf uh, except in these three massages. And there's no doubt that itikaf in the three massages is better than other than them, just as salat in these three massages is better than in other than them. And this is the end of Sheikh Uthaymin's speech. So Sheikh Muhammad Ba Musa says, Therefore, the strongest opinion, opinion, the weightier position is that itikaf is legislated in the other than the three masajid. It's legislated in other than the three masajid as long as that masjid establishes Jum'ah. As long as that masjid establishes Jum'ah. And this is the statement of the majority from the Hanafis, the Malikis, the Shafis, and the Hanbalis. And it is not narrated or transmitted from one from the Sahaba 
that they opposed this, except for the statement who of, of a few who specified it to calf in the three masajid. It is established from Aisha radiallahu anha. That was the end of Sheikh uh, Ibn Taymiyyah's speech. Sheikh Muhammad bin Musa, he continues, he said that Aisha radiallahu anha, she said, There's no itikaf except in a masjid jami' which is sahih and it's in Abu Dawood. And the meaning of sahih jami' is one in which Juma is performed in it. And the reason for the choosing this statement are the, those from the modern day scholars who chose the statement is Sheikh Utaymin Rahimahullah. We have two things of, to take notice here. Firstly, it's permissible to make itikaf in a masjid that does not have Jumu'ah if the days of a person's itikaf are not during Jumu'ah. So if a person's not making itikaf in the whole 10, but he's only making it for, say, three or four days, and those three or four days do not include Jumu'ah, then it's permissible for that person to make itikaf in any masjid, even if they don't have Jumu'ah. And this is according to the uh, agreement of the four schools of thought, the Hanafis, the Madakis, the Shafis, and the Hanbalis. And it is a statement of a group of the Salaf. Another thing to take notice of, that it is not a condition that for a woman to make itikaf in a masjid which has Jumu'ah. A woman can make itikaf in a masjid that does not have Jumu'ah because Jumu'ah is not something that is obligated upon her. And this is the madhab or the school of jurisprudence of Imam Ahmed and Ashafi, Rahimahumallah. And Allah knows best what is correct, and to him is a return in the final resting place. And may the salah and the salam be upon our Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, as well as his family and his companions.